romantically role-playing as you! Uh, oh. What? I mean... I mean... And I, I... I've been lying to you. What? About what? About, well... Everything. I told you that seaweed was like scientific. History movies, those, those are just, uh, anime. They're not, they aren't real. This time I told you I was busy with work on the phone. We didn't see, uh, office. I just wanted to, I, I wanted you to think I was smart and cool. That I wasn't such a nerdy loser. Alphys. Undyne, I, I really think you're neat, okay? Alphys. Papyrus do it. Get those bones shaky. <clears throat> it's time to jog a hundred laps, hooting about how great we are. Ready? I'm about to start the timer. Undyne. I'll do my best. She was kidding, right? Those cartoons, those comics. This is still real, right? Amy's real, right? Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah. Ha ha ha! I knew it! Jack is so expensive. Here I come! Uh, thanks for taking care of Alphys. You're welcome. I didn't get to say what I wanted to, but thanks seem like you're gonna get better for her. Well, I gotta go catch up with them. Later! But we are not done. But it is kind of frustrating that we're here. Oops. Yeah, I was safe. Just in case my game crashes again. I I honestly would not be surprised at this point. Wait, is there anything in there? Oh, there is. Oh yeah, the astronaut food is in there. Howdy! If it isn't my good friend, you trust me. Iris, you're also a mutual friend. Alpha and I finished our training early. Very early. So I sent her home. Very home. Uh, now... I feel strongly, and for no apparent reason, you should also go... there. To her. Lab. House. I have only good feelings about this. Goodbye. Okay, Papyrus has given us... An another order to go to Alphys' lab. House. Whatever. Yes. We will go to Hotland today. Hum hum hum. Hum hum hum. I'm having a little concert. Come again sometime, tra la la. <laughs> that time still has that wall. Is there anything in there? No, never mind. What does it say? Space behind the wall is only a few feet wide. It's a note from Alphys. Read it. Read. 
It's hard to read because of the handwriting, but you try your best. Hey, thanks for your help back there. You guys, your support really means a lot to me. But as difficult as it is to say this, you guys alone can't magically make my own problems go away. I want to be a better person. I don't want to be afraid anymore. And for that to happen, I have to be able to face my own mistakes. I'm going to start doing that now. I want to be clear. This isn't anyone else's problem but mine. But if you don't ever hear from me again, if you want to know the truth, enter the door to north of this note. You at least deserve to know what I did. That's all she wrote. Why aren't the boys bathroom back here? Morning, morning, elevator to the tower. And Heather stands in the middle of Altitude dropping. And I'm dead. Well, that was fun, guys. <laughs> ah, of course he lives. Entry number one. This is it. Time to do what the king has asked me to do. I will create the power to free us all. I will unleash the power of the soul. Entry number two. The barrier is locked by soul power. Unfortunately, the power cannot be recreated artificially. Soul power can only be derived from what is once living. So, to create more, we will have to use what we have now. The souls of monsters. Entry number three. But extracting the soul from the living monster would require incredible power. Besides being impractical, doing so would instantly destroy the soul's host. And, unlike the persistent souls of humans, the souls of most monsters disappear immediately after death. If only I could make a monster's soul last. Entry number five. I've done it. Using the blueprints, I extracted it from the human souls. I believe this is what gives our souls the strength to persist after death. We, the will to keep living, to resolve, to change fate. Let's call this power determination. The true laboratory. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Elevator lost power. Enter the door. That's all you can read. As you can see, the doors are locked. And the true lab, I'm sorry, this is a forgetful place. I do not like the true laboratory. Entry number six. Asgore asked some everyone outside the city for monsters that have fallen down. Their bodies came in today. They're still comatose, and soon they'll all turn to dust. What happened to my objective? My soul's persist after they perish, and freedom of my compulsion is not mine. Yeah, I do not like this place for a long reason. Things aren't going well, none of the bodies are turned into dust, so I can't get the souls. I told the family that I would get the dust back in the house. People are starting to ask me.
going to find. Now they're called memory hands. So doesn't care. Patient. I'm just gonna wait. <sighs> there we go. Entry number 11. Now that Metaton's made it big, he never talks to me anymore. Except to ask when I'm gonna finish his body. But I'm afraid if I finish his body, he won't need me anymore. Then we'll never be friends ever again. Not to mention, every time I work on it, I just get really sweaty. Just switch on the wall, press it. Gamma Gauti. Gamma Gamma 
Oh, it's a dog. Ugh. Uh, Why a dog? Was he experimenting on dogs? Oh crap! Telling us what to do. I just have to read closely. Now he wants me to pick. 